Okay. Ahmed, would you mind just asking that question again? Okay. So uh, coming back again to the circulation volume of the currency and the trading volume less than 1,000 dollar daily and uh, the market cap of 600K. So how you can convince a convince, uh, uh, an investor to invest on, on this currency? So how the investor will invest with 20K or more? If he later wants to have his money, it will be difficult for him to find someone to, to buy his currency. Okay, cool. So let me let me answer a few things there. Okay, so the, the first thing is that um, I, I think it's it's necessary to understand what Foundry is. I mean, Foundry is essentially a venture DAO, right? So it's a DAO that has a specific set of products that it's it's interested in, and these are things that sort of like further human freedom. So if you go to smokesignal.eth.link, you'll see a live product of ours there. Um, if you go to permapost.io, you'll see another live version there. Um, so these are some of the things that have already been output. Um, and currently, one of the other projects that, that Foundry has funded, which is the main thing that most of the people in this call are working on. So myself, Chris, and Christopher are, um, are, are basically building a thing called Leverly. Um, so, so other products are, are sort of like free speech based, and, and Leverly is more of a, a DeFi product. Right, so um, uh, the governance token for Foundry, right? So I, I think um, instead of necessarily calling it a currency, think of it, it's, it's a governance token, right? So the governance token for Foundry, at its core, what it does um, um, and what we're, uh, what we're outputting. So um, Chris, I believe you're going to demo the stuff we have so far for the compound governance, right? All right, so some of that, that will be demoed here. Um, yeah, so, so part of what we're working on is, is just a governance system where you can take your fry, you can vote on different things, different different projects can come to Foundry and they can say, listen, give me $5,000 and I'll build a MVP for this kind of product. And then people can discuss that um, in different ways and, uh, you know, on the forums or on Smoke Signal or wherever, and people can vote on it. And then depending on if the vote passes or not, you know, that project gets funded or not. Now, that person obviously needs to offer Foundry something, right, in return. Like they could, say, they could say that, listen, I've got a DeFi idea. I'll point the fees at the Fry token, right? Um, do I have sharing rights for this uh, meeting, Chris? Oh, I don't. Okay. It's Logan's meeting. Sorry, All right. Okay. Logan's going to be back now. Then I'll, I'll just quickly share some stats. Oh, sorry. Right. So, back so the first, okay. Could you just give me sharing, sharing rights quickly, Logan? Okay. There you go. All right, give me one second. I just want to open up the dashboard here. Um, okay, so share screen. All right, so we have the, I should load now. Uh, so we basically have this uh, Statch dashboard up at the moment, All right? Um, and one of the, the, the product we're working on right now is based on this thing called the, the death contract or the death contract, depending on how you want to um, pronounce it. But it's basically uh, the derived ether project. And what this essentially does is it's a, it's a way for you to automatically leverage your exposure to ether, right? Without having to go through a thing like DeFi saver or, or have to manually adjust your own um, leverage the whole time. So if you think Ethereum is going to do very well, it's a very straightforward thing if you go to, that's one of the things we're demoing today. If you go to app.leverly.ly, um, it's the sub product that we're going to spin this whole class of products into. Um, if you go here, you can basically, um, it shows you a calculator, essentially what this product does. Let's say you have 10 Ether, you know, you, instead of just putting it into Ether, you wanted to uh, put it into D Ether. And then basically if the price moves to say $6,000, um, you know, then uh, the additional money you would have made is something like seventy-two thousand dollars, for instance, because of your leveraged exposure. Yeah, right. And just, obviously, if the inverse happens, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a yeah. Complete that thought. Sorry. Yeah. So if the inverse happens, if the price drops, then obviously you lose a lot of money, right? So it is a levered product, but it's an automated levered product. Um, it's tokenized. We'll bridge it. Um, it'll well. We'll most likely bridge it to other networks, but it's a whole thing on its own, right? So. So this whole project is something that Foundry has birthed, right? So, so the people who bought Fry indirectly, um, and I'm a very big buyer and holder of Fry. I, I think I might be like the second largest one. Um, basically, uh, yeah, so paid for this product to be made.
Yeah. Right. So to give you an idea, so, this is not something we've let, even. Let me just jump in there really quick, just to explain the Deeth and Lever Leverly thing. Leverly is sort of the version two of the product that we're building right now. And we're currently putting yeah. the Deeth interface on here. As, as, in a way, it's the, it's the MVP version. So just to explain that, that name difference there. Um, yeah. And if I could just sum, yeah. summarize part of what Skalk is saying, I, when you buy Fry, you're basically betting that Foundry itself will make money. Um, and then by holding Fry, you hold a tokenized ownership <clears throat> of Foundry's um, assets, uh, some of which are interest bearing. That's sort of, and, and, and what Skalk is showing, he may have said this uh, when, I was, when I was out, but this product is a great example because every time someone enters or exits, we take a profit from that and that goes to the treasury, uh, which um, currently we're still building governance, but when governance is built, the Fry holders will have, again, tokenized ownership um, of, of that. Yeah. So to just to just show you where the pro so so this thing is live, by the way, Ahmed. This thing is actually working, right now. We haven't gone through a lot of um, a lot of steps yet to market it. It's so conclusively because we've been upgrading. I mean, every week we hold a demo day. You can go back on our YouTube. Um, I think almost every week we've we've held one at least 70 percent of the time yeah i mean i think we have like an excess of 100 videos up now for our demo days and you can track all the progress we've been making over time so but without even marketing the nice version of the website yet this is the previous version where you had to um mint your teeth i mean you can see it's very spartan it's it's it doesn't have great explainers or anything you know and we'll obviously keep iterating this stuff just with this so far we've made um Let's go to stats here. So the profit on this thing is about three. It's about three thousand and eighty-three um, dollars that we've made. So this is a real product that has made a real profit with almost no marketing whatsoever. And just to give you an idea of how this profit is is um, is captured, what we do is we send the profit to this thing called the permafrost. Right. So what the permafrost is, is you ask basically if somebody wanted to put in $20,000, how would they pull it out? Right. So part of the problem with all of these things is like there's no liquidity. Right. So somebody starts building the thing. There's no liquidity. Nobody's really interested, you know, and after the first few people have given the team money, it just all evaporates and the thing collapses in some, some degree. Right. So, so this is a, are, are you familiar with balancer, Ahmed? No, unfortunately. Okay, so so balancer is like Uniswap, for instance, right? So um, let me just quickly do this. Uh, so balancer is like Uniswap. Uh, you just give it the two sides of the market. So in other words, you give it Ether and you give it Fry, and it'll make an automated market for you, right? Now this is a special kind of a pool. I don't want to get into too much depth for it, but what I want you to see here is I want you to see who the holder of the pool tokens is. Right. So in other words, this is the thing that owns the, the pool tokens. And you'll see it's the 0x01 address. And that's one of the burn addresses, meaning that no one can ever take this liquidity away. We can't right. take it. And that's, and that's where the right. permafrost and this, uh, name comes from. So it's, a, it's, um, yeah. it's frozen liquidity. Um, if you have, so if I were to just have some liquidity and hold the tokens and then throw the tokens away, it's sort of the same thing. It's liquidity that, it's liquidity that no one can ever rug pull. Um, and that's, that's the yeah. permafrost. Yeah. So we've got about $42,000 on this pool and there's more than one pool, right? So we've got about $42,000 locked into this pool. Let me just show you the other one. There's a secondary one we have as well. And I, again, I don't want to get too, too stuck down in the weeds for stuff we've done already, but, um, if you go look at this other pool, so some of this is held by our treasury at the moment, but some of it is held also by, um, you know, by this zero uh, eight zero one address, right? So this is liquidity that can never be taken away, right? Obviously, people can sell their fry into this liquidity, and it will drop the price, right? I'm not saying there's no, you know, there's no possibility for it to go down, but the bottom line is that these pools will continue to exist, and these are two pools that are actually you'll see the one is paired to a stable coin, and the other pair one is paired to Ethereum which means that when the automated box, right, whenever the price of Ethereum moves out, it actually routes through the Fry token. And both of these pools have very, very high fees, which means that every time one of those routes happen, the pools actually grow slightly, right? So the two combined, like the two permafrosts combined, I sort of call them gravity well, because over time it sucks in 
um, you know, a lot of a, a lot of fees that that indirectly accrue to the um, right. right token. So if you want to go to and it's be, it's because it's sucking in fry. So this is actually a, a sink for the supply of fry. Um, and uh, exactly, yeah, and that's exciting because um, it. Uh, well, with with these permafrosts and the uh, and the of course the products that then take profit, what we have um, is even though we're still working on governance, so Fry can't be used for governance at this very moment. Uh, Fry is actually more than just an IOU because the the we have certain guarantees about how the supply of Fry um, works, and one of those guarantees is that these permafrosts will eat up um, Fry supply. <laughs> So, so currently, to give you an idea, Ahmed, like, like this is if you were to sell three million tokens right now, and I don't think there are. Yeah. Let me just go see how many tokens are still left to be sold at this point. Um, so we have a running sale. Are you aware of our sale, Ahmed? Have you have you gone to this page before? Hello? No, actually, I, 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 um, one of my friend actually he suggested me about uh, this currency. Um, I just start, you know, reading about it so to know if I, if I will decide to invest or not. Right, that's why I'm here. So okay. basically, he's one of okay. the investor of this uh, currency. So uh, one thing's like four. I think four person has forty percent of 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 the total uh, uh, currency, right? Uh, let's quickly get you the stats. Um, so the owners of the currency, I believe they are four, they are holding about 40%. So um, what about, I mean, the direction for, for this currency? I mean, is there any plan later to list it in one of the first, uh, I mean, platforms? Well, let, let's, well, I, I mean, it's good. These are good questions. So guys, you're happy that we just covered them as well, right? Is anybody in a specific hurry? All right, okay, cool. I can... Chris, you're I happy. Think, Christopher, you're happy. I think Christopher, Christopher might be in a hurry, but I'm not. Christopher, are you in any kind of hurry, or um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah, you can, you, you can go ahead and answer, um, and just, um, I, um, yeah, I'll probably only need about five, five minutes or so. You're gonna okay. Leave okay. In five you minutes. maybe want to go do what you want to do. So, is that what you will said? you need to leave in five minutes or? Um, I need to leave in about um, 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I would well, say... that's, that's a problem. Mm. Um... Well, let me, let me answer the last question. Ahmed, if you don't mind sticking around, right? Let me just answer your last question in terms of who owns the stuff. If you go look there, right, you'll see that those are actually smart contracts. All right. So, um, so many of these things, for instance, are, uh, let's just actually go have a look at what the first one is. Open it in the new tab. Open it. Let's go see who these. Um, I think one of the first two is a multi-sig, and the other one is the treasury. Yeah. So, so we can actually see. So that one would be the treasury. So those tokens, for instance, Ahmed, are owned by the DAO. So every well, every fry holder, holder essentially has control over that through through well, the voting and, mechanism. And, right? to, so, and to be specific, mm -hmm. that will be true once we finish governance, which we're currently working on. Just to be uh, meticulous there. Yeah, so this is the, which contract is this 15 in at the moment? Um, why is this interface so bad? Uh, smart contract. Uh, we actually answered this question a while ago. We should have written it down. Let's um, just go to Etherscan quickly and we'll look up Foundry now. But you can you can already see that fourth one is actually the balancer pool that Skalk was showing earlier. So that's one of the holders yeah. of Fry. Yeah. So this is a private individual, basically. Um, this is the the multi sig. This is, I believe, is this not the Team Toast multi sig? Yeah, I, I believe the Team when Toast multi sig is one of them. Um, and the Team Toast yeah, multi-sig basically has Fry that we haven't yet sort of um, given to investors yet, uh, but they're not really privately owned yeah. either. 
Uh, yeah, team, toast, but, team Toast, by the way, is, is like me and Skalk and, and sort of Chris, depending on how you count uh, Team Toast. So it's just, it's sort of the development firm, for lack of a better word, that's where yeah. North Foundry. And that's how we incentivize people to actually like get into the, um, to basically like get into the project by giving them a block of vested fry, right? So in other words, you give somebody the token so that over a period of time, they actually, um, uh, you know, they remain um, invested in the whole project. Um, I think the the largest the largest individual two holders, if you had to count by percentage as to like if we map these all of these back to who they belong to, I think it's something like twenty one percent or between um, twenty one to twenty four or something. But I'll go double check for you. Is between um, um, uh, Logan, who's the CEO, you know, and I I mean he's been working on this literally since late twenty eighteen. So. You know, I feel it's an entirely justifiable percentage and me, who's been the number one investor, um, you know, and I think I'm only at something like 7% or 8% or something. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, but we can give you a more detailed breakdown. I think we're a little bit, we're unfortunately a little bit short on time for a complete detailed breakdown, but it might be a good video to make nonetheless. So I really appreciate the question. Yeah. Does that, does that answer your, your question to some degree at the moment, Ahmed? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you so much for the question, Ahmed. And, and if you want to stick around till the end of the demo, we're just going to demo a couple of things. I, I'm sure we'll be happy to answer uh, more questions yeah. from you. These are really good.